Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create a blog post template in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the blog post template in Elementor, that is really easy. You don't have to install anything, you just have to have the Elementor. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the templates and click on the save templates. Alright. So these are the save templates that we have right now, but we're gonna create a new template for our blog post so let's click on add new template so we have to select the type of the template so that would be page and here we have to write down the name of the template so that would be blog template so let's click on create template all right so now we're gonna simply design our blog post template okay so the first thing that i will do here i'll just simply click on add container so let's click on Flexbox. So now it will be the single column structure. All right. So now for the first thing that I would like to add that would be basically the image. All right. So after the image, what I would like to add, I would basically like to add the paragraph. Okay. So let's add the paragraph here. Let's drag the text reader and put it here after the image. And here we can have our paragraph. Okay, so that would be a kind of intro paragraph. All right, so after this, I would like to add some spacer. So let's add the spacer after the paragraph. And we can increase the value of the space from here if I wanted to. Okay, so after this, I will simply add the subheading or the heading. Okay, so let's add the heading. Drag this and put this after the spacer. So this will be a kind of subheading. Okay, so let's change the h to the capital all right and after this i can add the paragraph or i can actually go here with some bulleted points or something like this so let's add the paragraph and we'll have some bullet points okay so let's add the text editor and here we'll simply convert this into the bullet points so we can have the bulleted list and we can also have the numbered list as well okay so let's go here with the bulleted list so i'm going to simply copy this and paste this again okay so that is how you can simply have the bulleted points or the number list as well okay so that is totally up to you after that what we can do here we can simply go back and let's just add some space so let's drag this and put this here and after this we can again have some heading so i'll just simply copy this heading and after this i would like to put it here so let's paste this. Now you can see this. We have the subheading. And after the subheading, we can simply have some paragraph. So let's go back and drag the text editor again. All right. So let's just add some text into it. So let's copy this, paste it here, and that is our paragraph. All right. Now, what we can do here, we can add the two column structure. Like if you wanted to add some button or some kind of an offer. So for that, we can simply add the two column structure. And here I would add the flex box. So let's just add the two column structure. All right. And one thing that we can also add the image after the subheading here as well. Okay, so let's try to do that. So let's go back and let's just add the image here in between the subheading and the paragraph. So that would look fine. And after here in the two column structure, what I would like to do here, I would just simply like to add the heading. Okay, so in the heading, I can simply write down a kind of offer. All right. And then what I can do, I can simply add some text into it. So let's add the text. All right, so after the paragraph, I would simply like to add the button here. So let's add the button. So that will be a kind of download now button or something like this or contact us. So that is totally on to your need. So let's write down download now. Okay. So that would work fine right now. Okay. And on the second column, we can simply add the image. Okay. So let's add the image here. And now let's just put our text, paragraph, and the button into the center so that it should align with our image. So here, what we need to do, we have to align the items into the center. All right. So now this is looking good. And one thing that I can do here, I would like to change the background color. So let's change the background color here. 
so I will simply go here with a kind of kind of dark color okay all right so here what I need to do I need to change the color of the text as well so let's go into the style the color of the text would be white and for our paragraph it would be a kind of grayish so it is a kind of light grayish okay so that is looking good and here we can simply add the image from our gallery so let's click here click on choose image and let's just go here with this image click on select now now this is looking good all right and we can also add any other image here so let's add the image here so this will be this image so let's go here with this one click on select now this is looking good and similarly let's just add the image here as well okay so i think i would go here with this image select image all right so now this is looking good so these images are just the template images so whenever we use this template into our blog post it will be customizable so you can simply change it style it whatever you want to do okay so now let's just go back and after this offer what i would like to do i would like to add some heading again so let's add the container first single column structure and now what we need to do let's just add the heading so this will be the subheading again all right so after we're gonna have some paragraph again so let's just have some paragraph and now i would like to have a spacer so let's just add the spacer and in the last i would just have the related article links okay so for that i would simply add the heading again so it will be the s3 and i will simply write down related articles and after this what i can do here i just simply add the paragraph okay and in the paragraph i will have the two things so the first thing will be basically the name of the article and the second thing would be the link of it okay so let's just copy this and I can simply convert this into the number list or something okay or the bulleted list so I would have the name of the article then I would add the link of the article so that is how I'm going to add the related articles all right so this is the template that we will be using for our blog post okay so I'll just simply publish this so now how can I use this as a blog post template that is really easy first thing that I need to do I need to go back into the WordPress dashboard so let's click on exit and here what I need to do I just simply go into the post and click on any post so here I can simply add the article of our post so that would be a kind of new idea or something and now what we need to do I just simply click on edit with Elementor all right so now I can simply import the template that we have created so let's click on the add template here and now we need to go inside the my templates and from here i just simply click on the template that i have created right now okay so that is block template so let's click on insert click on apply now you will be able to get all the things that we have created in our template so you can see this we have the image then we have the intro paragraph then we have the subheading then we have the list then we have subheading again and the image and the paragraph and after this we have the offer and after this you can also see the subheading here as well okay so this is so all of the thing here that we have created in the template is available here in our blog template and it is customizable okay so if i just click on the paragraph here so i can simply change the value here i can simply change the link here so if i just want to remove the link i can simply do this so everything that we have created in our template is is basically customizable in terms of the content and also in terms of the design as well so if i wanted to change the styling of our paragraph i can simply go into the styling i can put this into the center and i can also change the text color as well so basically everything is customizable okay so let's click on it again let's just put it to the left so that is the idea of it so let's just add some spacing here all right and after this i would also have some spacing here 
and I think this will look fun. So now you can see the title of our blog post. But if you don't want to have the title of the blog post, you can simply go into the setting. And from here, you can simply hide the title if you wanted to. And if you wanted to change the image, that is really easy. Just click on the image, click on the choose image. So from here, you can simply change the image you want. All right. So let's click on this one. Click on select. Now you can see this. We have the different image. So that is how we can create the block template in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.